Hi everyone. I thought I would uh, share some thoughts that I'm having today. It's May the 16th and I have this plant which is called Field Pennycress coming up all over the place here at Jones Eco Farms. Uh, it's a very prolific weed and I'll tell you what I am starting to really become fond of it and to the point where I am letting it go to seed and become a self-sowing natural cover crop. So field pennycress is a winter annual which means that it generally germinates in the fall or early winter and then grows very lush as you can see here in the spring before a lot of the other uh, annual plants that we call weeds have grown. It has a kind of a spreading light root system that makes it very easy to pull up by hand if there's any moisture in the soil as you can see here. It also has these nice little white flowers which I notice a lot of beneficial insects on. So right off the bat what it's doing for me here weed suppression. So there's a bunch of little ragweeds and lambs quarters and stuff under here that are totally getting shaded out. It's doing soil conditioning as these roots, there's a bit of a tap root as you can see, but it's also got fibrous roots and the soil under here is really friable and nice. You can just dig right into it here. It's creating beneficial insect habitat for all your predatory insects, spiders and all that kind of stuff. And any kind of residual nitrogen that's in the soil after your previous year, it's going to pick that stuff right up. It's, it's really no different than sowing a brassica cover crop, like you would use radishes or mustard or something like that, but it sows itself. And what's funny is when you Google this stuff, on the very same university extension website, I found instructions for how to kill it with sprays and how it infests this and invades that. And the very same extension has another page that tells about how it's the new up and coming cover crop that you should plant and that you can harvest the seeds for biodiesel. So go figure, it's really a paradigm thing, right? These plants are what they are and we're trying to pigeonhole them as weeds or as cover crops or as cash crops and really it's about us changing our perspective on them. So anyway, I'm here in the garden there was pigs here a couple years ago, so this stuff is growing really nice. I know it has a lot of uh, organic nitrogen in it, left over from when those pigs were here. And I'm just pulling it up, throwing it down on the ground, and mulching my tomatoes and peppers with it. How about that? Couldn't be easier. I'm not even exerting any effort to pull it up. So that's what I have to say about Pennycress. I really like it. I'm going to let it go to seed around here and uh, see uh, what it'll do for me. <laughs>